In the 1800s, the Oregon Territory was free of slavery, but had exclusion laws barring black people. Despite that, and with the lure of gold and land, several black pioneers made their way to the Rogue Valley, hoping to build a free life. One such pioneer was John Matthews, who in 1816 was born into slavery in North Carolina, the product of the mask plantation owner's son and a woman he enslaved named Alinda Penelope Matthews. On Mask's deathbed in 1830, he freed Alinda John and John's siblings who moved to Tennessee, where Matthews married his childhood friend, Elizabeth Rachel Woolley, who was white. As their marriage was illegal and because of growing racial tensions, the family moved to Missouri and then headed to Southern Oregon, overcoming harsh terrain, tight resources, and the Modoc tribe protecting their lands. Arriving in 1853, John soon claimed land along Butte Creek, where he successfully grew produce and raised livestock, ascending in respect and prominence. Admiring eagles congregating on bluffs overlooking the area, Matthews proposed the name Eagle Point for the growing town. The mostly white community and town founder J.J. Fryer agreed and worked together with Matthews to develop today's Eagle Point. Upon John's death in 1885 of typhoid fever, Fryer said John will be held in kindly remembrance as a good neighbor and a good citizen.